Hey guys, this is Adam Jones from Perch Finder TV. Thank you very much for stopping by uh, for my first video in a while. Um, I hope you guys are well. I hope uh, your season's gone well. Obviously, the end of the season was uh, last week on the rivers, um, and you know it's been it's been interesting out there. It's been hard, I would say, is probably the uh, the overall sentiment of last season for perch. Um, it was, I mean, I obviously did a lot less sessions than I did the year before, um, with obviously the birth of my little girl, Maury, who's now seven months, getting older every day, surprisingly. Um, and uh, it's, you know, I'm slowly starting getting back to the, the stage that I can get back out on the bank um, and make a few videos. So I hope you guys have had a good season. Um, and like I said, I'm now stuck uh, on the canal for the time being um, with the rivers closed. I've got some tench sessions planned uh, in the diary as well. So I'll take you guys on the journey for that as well. Um, but today it is all about the brand new Older Baron BFS 22, which is fresh out of its box from Japan. Um, I have brought it out on the canal today just to see, sorry about the train, uh, just to see what it's like. I've, I've had a little go with it so far and spoiler alert, it's an absolute beast, a complete weapon. Um, I would say that the, the reel really does bring together all of the bits of the various reels that are on the market in my opinion. So um, you know, obviously I love my Older Baron 16. Um, it's an extremely versatile reel. It's completely bomb proof in my opinion. I've had, well, I've got a couple of them and I've had them for many, many years. I've not had to do much to them. Um, you know, really didn't need to upgrade the bearings, for example. I have done on one of them. I haven't on the other. Um, it's just been an absolute weapon of a reel. Um, my Daiwa Steez Air TW and obviously I've got an Alphys Air TW as well, just to compare the two. Um, I thought it was fantastic for throwing those smaller weights on the, the trout streams and all the trout work that I do alongside my Conquest, for example. Um, but this reel seems like it might do everything. Um, it certainly seems to be absolutely zipping the five gram chebs with a, a decent bit of plastic attached. It's completely firing them out. And on the lower weights, fresh out of the box, it's absolutely doing the business. So today I've got a 2.5 gram uh, that's a Kitek mono spin jig with a little spider. Um, I'm going to mess around with this for the next hour or so and um, see if I can pick up a few wasps. And then as the sun starts to go down, it is very high pressure in bluebird skies at the moment. So as the sun starts to go down, I might step it up a little bit and see if I can find one of those bigger perch um, that do reside in this section of canal. So uh, let's get out there, see if we can catch one. Like I said, thanks so much for coming back. Thanks very much for sticking with me. If you do enjoy these videos and you haven't already, please like and subscribe. For all of those that have stuck with me, thanks so much. There's plenty more to come. Some really exciting things in the pipeline as well as some videos on uh, my new boat, The Finder, which is crazy, crazy times, which I'll tell you about in another video. So uh, let's get out there. Let's see if we can find a few fish and I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Oh, that was a bite. That was a bite. Right, so all I'm doing at the moment is just kind of nudging this along the bottom. Very similar to Howard Fisher Ned, obviously much lighter than what I usually use and kind of going back to basics in many ways. Um, and how I started fishing, obviously the canals in, in central London, um, just kind of wasping around with little crazy fish nimbles and stuff like that. Um, all I'm doing is just kind of keeping it in the kill zone, but working it slightly faster um, at the moment than uh, I would have otherwise worked a um, a bigger bait. That was a little bite straight away. Got a lovely action on it. You can probably see there just kind of underarm pitching that little jig. And this reel straight out of the box. I've barely done anything with it. Um, it's handling it no problems whatsoever. Quite a few bait fish here knocking around. Good sign for the perch. A 
God, this reel absolutely zips it. A little pike there. Play this one gently. Yeah, absolutely slammed that. There we go. Just goes to show if you play them gently, got half a chance of landing them. All right, let's get this one back. All right, so I've just taken the uh, the plastic off that just to throw the bear jig so the bear jig is 2.5 grams like i said this is straight out the box this reel no real messing around um and it's super impressive i'm able to kind of roll pitch it to the far bank of this kind of narrow section underneath the bridge um and really zone in on different sections i don't feel like i'm needing more weight to uh to be able to pitch um it's just absolutely eating it up with this little two gram, two and a half gram jig head. So um, I'm mega impressed, mega, mega impressed. Just seems to be pretty effortless. I mean, that has gone an absolute mile. Just cross hand, underhand flick. Yeah, very, very impressive. Right, small jack to our name. Let's get this uh, back on, see if we can find a few stripies. This is a lovely, uh, kind of summer summer wasping and small perching setup I and mean, obviously it'll do massive fish there's guys that swear by it but also brilliant for just just picking out those slightly bigger wasps and messing around on the canal i mean what perch wouldn't eat that all right let's go find one Pike. Right, it's a little pike, just right under my feet along the wall, just playing it lightly because uh, I'm not after pike, I'm not fishing a trace, so um, just lock the, uh, taking the drag right off, take all the pressure off the fish and just slowly bring it in. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna land them. There we go. Right, let's get this one unhooked. And uh, you can see, hooked right in the scissors. Hey guys, right, we're at half time in the two hour session. Um, lovely to be back on the canal, to be honest. Kind of forgotten what it's like to just fish features and only have a couple of hours and really blast your way through them so this you know this is a section that i haven't fished for well over a year now and uh you know started at the top fished the lock section fished a turning circle run down to a bridge fished the bridge run down to the next lock fish the lock picked up a couple of pike along the way um a couple of missed bites as well and a really really good test um of the reel to this point so yeah it's been excellent i'm absolutely loving this little finesse uh, mono spin jig as well. I think you know how much I love a skirted jig. I love a skirted Ned um, Obviously for my perch fishing. I love them in you know the seven gram three and a half seven gram five gram sometimes larger um, And this is obviously just really nice for you know, you're wasping in the summer. This is going to be absolutely killer so really impressed with that and uh, like I said at the beginning of the video spoiler alert, but this reel is an absolute beast. I think the beauty of the older Baron 16 for me is that it was the most versatile reel that I owned. Um, like I said, bearing in mind that I've tried or own most of the various ones that this addiction has, uh, has brought me to over the last five years. But 
with the Daiwas, for example, the Steez Air TW that I've got and the Alphas Air TW, absolutely flawless in the lower weights. Brilliant pieces of kit for throwing 0.7 to 6 grams. Um, excellent for trouting. Um, the Daiwa Steez Air TW is just next level smooth. But when you start getting it up in the, uh, in the weight range and when you start playing bigger fish on those tiny little spools, it just doesn't feel as solid in the hand as, as say, my older Baron does. So what I've loved about the older Baron, like I said, the old one is that I could do everything with it. And I think that this one is going to bring the finesse range down um, and make sure that it can fully compete with the likes of the, Air, the Alphys and the, the Steez Air TW. And, you know, with that clicking drag, slightly bigger spool, it's just the perfect reel for me to be honest and I think uh, it's super comfortable in the hand ergonomically feels great um, and it's just an absolute dream to cast so fingers crossed we can find a couple of perch now I'm not entirely sure with the way this weather is but even a little wasp will be fun and uh, and then yeah get back home change some nappies jobs are good and speak to you guys in a bit right I've now just gone up a touch Now I'm going to fish a five gram Cheb and a Ned just for the last little bit. Seem to be hitting a lot of pike. There you go. Changed over. That feels a lot more like a perch to me. And it is. There you go, just slowed that presentation right down. And uh, sometimes that's what you need, just something a little bolder, a little slower. And uh, there is a perch. Right, I'm gonna move down. There's obviously a few pike around here. It's not what I'm after. So let's go see if we can find the bigger perch. This reel is so quiet. It genuinely feels like you've cracked off. <laughs> Just absolutely zips out. Utter craziness. In there missing a lot of hits suddenly just come alive I oh, get out of there I think that one hit it it must have come straight towards me there you go that's a little perch that's what we came out to the canal for. Now they've started feeding. It doesn't matter how big they are. That is a lovely fat canal perch. Look at that. Let's get it back. Let's see if we can find a month. Good news, they're starting to feed. Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. God, that was a lovely bite. That was a lovely hit. Little touch before and then absolutely clattered it. Definitely not a pike. Lovely pristine again. Canal perch. Again, we're not out here to look for monsters. Although a monster would be nice. Just out, having some fun. 
on the canal. That one's probably just knocking on the door of a pound and a half. It's happy days. Hey guys, as you can see, that is the end of the session. The sun is almost down over the top of the hill. Um, really, really enjoyed that. If, if nothing else, just coming out on the canal, going back to basics, small jigs to start off with, picking up a few bites, um, changing over, slowing things down, picking up a few better perch, it just enjoying being out and about. What a way to spend a couple of hours. And I think it's easy to get sidetracked by specimen perch and chasing the big one and all of those types of things. And actually just coming out, making it simple can be super enjoyable. So just that, to be honest, has been absolutely fantastic. But as a chance to test out the new reel, it's been brilliant. This thing is an absolute weapon. And if you are in the market for one, absolutely press the button. You will not be disappointed. It is everything it says it is and more. Um, what a wonderful piece of kit. Like I said, if you're not in the market for one, um, if it's you know above your budget or you don't like the look of it, don't buy it. But if you are, absolutely do it. Um, what a piece of kit. I'm so excited to spend the rest of the season messing around with it, having a look at trout streams and then getting it back out on the perch, testing it out on the boat, on the reservoir and the river. Just a wonderful, wonderful piece of kit. So um, yeah, thanks very much once again for sticking with me over the last 12 months. It's been a really exciting 12 months personally, but it has meant that I've not been out and about making videos as much as I'd like, but there are plenty more videos in the pipeline. Um, I'm gonna make lots and lots more videos on the boat, lots and lots more videos, um, obviously all of my perch fishing stuff, but I'm gonna do a lot more of the tenching and trotting and all the various other things that I do in the background just to keep it nice and interesting. If you are interested in more videos and you haven't already, please like and subscribe, share this video around if you think somebody's gonna be interested or can get something from it. And I hope you guys have a brilliant, brilliant rest of the week. Tight lines on your next session and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Cheers.